YouTube, what's up, it's me, the Nate Dog. I'm here because people have been asking me a lot of questions like, what do you think of the new Black Ops 2 that's coming out? And what, which game do I think is better, Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops? Me, personally, I mean, I'm more of a Call of Duty fan myself. Always been, ever since COD 1, even. But, you know what? I'm going to make this video about the comparison of Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops and expectations of Black Ops 2. Well, first of all, let's start with the pros and cons of both games. Let's start with the pros of Modern Warfare 3. Well, for one, which is an obvious one, I mean, they've made your strike packages so y you can customize, you know, what you want to go for for each class. It's not like Mono for 2, where, you know, you had one killstreak set up for every class. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Another thing is, they've put different um, equipment in the game, like the trophy system, you know. It really helps if you're a predator magnet. I mean, if you catch yourself always getting killed by predators, then that's something you need. And let's see. Um, some of the new kill streaks even they brought juggernauts into the game. Which, I mean, that's pretty cool. Sure, they're a pain in the ass, but I mean, you gotta admit they're still pretty cool. Um, some some of your support kill streaks like the ballistic vests, your support juggernaut even. And I mean, really, to me. Modern Warfare 3 is just an all-around great game. I mean, sure, you know, you still got your problems with hackers, which I haven't seen very many of, and your campers, which that would be a con of the game, which you know, would be your campers and hackers. I haven't seen many of them, so I don't really... I'm not really going to complain about it. I haven't seen many hackers. Right there, you, we just saw a camper. So, I mean, you know, they're still around. You're never going to get rid of them. And some more cons about Modern Warfare 3. I mean, let's see. Some of the guns, I mean, in my personal experience, say, take the CM901 for example. I find that gun ridiculously um, bad with recoil. Even with kick, I'm, I'm still finding myself losing my gunfights, even when I have the upper hand. And oh, some of the some of the weapon proficiencies you can get, like for your the, the striker shotgun. You know, everyone everyone hates the striker. It's always been a problem since Modern Warfare 2. I mean, it's just a really newbie, really bad shotty. I don't like it. And with them adding the extended mags and damage option, I mean, that's just that's ridiculous. Because I mean. You've all, we can all admit, we've seen at least one guy who's done something but run around with a striker all day. It gets annoying after a while, you know, not gonna lie. But I mean, you know, shit happens, I guess. And, you know, they can't take it out, because I mean, it's, it's still a good gun, you know? And, oh, here, one more pro about Modern Warfare 3. I find some of the new game modes really, really interesting. They've made Infected an official game. That That's fun. I mean, you know, we've all got to make... We're all, we all have fun with our Infected games. I mean, you know, it's just something you can't hate. I mean, sure, it, it's bullshit at times. I mean, you know... But, again, like I said, shit happens. And now, the final con of Modern Warfare 3... At least for this video, um, knifing. Knifing has become a huge problem for a lot of people. I mean, you know, for one, you've got your people who seem to be able to commando knife. You know, they lunge 50 miles and still knife you. And then when I try to knife, you know, I'll be like right next to them. I still can't knife them. So I mean, knifing is still a little buggy. And so I mean, hopefully they can fix that. You know, I mean, it's a wish of mine that they can fix it. But, you know, I mean... 
Treyarch is Treyarch, and Infinity Ward is Infinity Ward. Now on to Black Ops. For me, let, let's start with the con- with the uh, cons of Black Ops. I now don't get me wrong, but I absolutely despise the game. To me, that game is just a load of crap. I mean, you've got your overpowered guns, your guns that can't, your guns that are underpowered, they can't do anything. And then you've got like some of the bullshit kill streaks. I mean, don't get me wrong, a lot of the kill streaks are a load of bullshit. But back in Black Ops, they were just ridiculous. The, the attack dogs, people would just sit in one spot and camp until they got 11 kills, and they got their dogs. And then they fucked everyone over. Another con. Some of the guns, I mean, you know, I'm all for, like, the futuristic, you know, unreal effect, but some of the guns in the game are just completely unrealistic and just straight up out of this world. I I like it, but I don't. I mean, some of them are pretty cool. Like, the Death Machine. I mean, sure, it's realistic. You know, I mean, it's a minigun. But, I mean, it's just bullshit, because people sit there, they have 500 rounds just to fuck you up. That, that's how it is. They have 500 rounds to do whatever the fuck they want. Not sure, when you kill them, it, it's gone. But, I mean, you know? I don't know. And, another con that I, I find that still pisses me off today, the care packages. I mean, you know? I like the care packages from Monofer 2 and 3, you know. When you call them in, they're there within 5 seconds. With these ones, they're bigger choppers, so it's like they slowly fly in, and everyone, everyone can see them. And then by the time they drop it, you've got 6 enemies on your back. You know, it's just, I, I, I'm not a fan. I never really was. And on to the pros of Black Ops. <laughs> Let me think for a second, you guys. Some pros of Black Ops. Okay, well, from the from the transition between Model for Two and Black Ops, you know, some really cool new guns: the Galil, the AK-74, which no one had seen except for like in the campaign, I think. You know, some new guns and new kill streaks. I mean, you know. The attack dogs. That that was like you know, when 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 we first saw it, it was like whoa, you know, we've never seen this before. Um, the gunship. It, it was a great kill streak, even though I never really got one. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just pretty cool. You know, all games have their perks, and one of Black Ops's perks was their really awesome kill streaks. It was, it was so cool when you when you would get your first gunship or attack dogs. I mean, you know, you felt awesome when it happened. And then when it happened to you, you're just like, "What the hell?" <laughs> Another pro. I mean, let me think for a second. I haven't played Black Ops in a while. Oh, new attachments for guns. You know. The dual mag. We had never seen a dual mag before. Uh, the reflex sight. To me, it was the same as the red dot, but, you know, some people prefer it over the uh, red dot. So, I mean, reflex sight was pretty cool. Then, you know, you've got your new, uh, some of the new perks. Or new perk positions, I should say. Because some of the perks were a lot of the same. I mean, Warlord... Same as Bling, it was just a perk 2 instead of a perk 1. Uh, and another really cool thing is that you didn't unlock certain things, you had to buy them. I mean, you know, putting a clan tag and your emblem on your gun, I mean, that was amazing, you know? We had never seen it before. And, I mean, you know, it's cool because, you know, you'd watch the final kill cam and someone would be using, you know, the same gun you were, and then you realize, oh, that's my gun, because there's my clan tag. So, you know, it's a pretty cool way to, to get your, your clan known. I mean, my clan got a major jump from... from Black Ops. 
not as big of a jump as I was hoping for. But I mean, hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? When you're trying to make a clan big, it's just, you know, you'll take whatever you can. And, okay. This video's almost over, so let me hurry up and go into Black Ops 2 expectations. Me, personally, I'm not looking forward to Black Ops 2 at all. I mean, I feel it's just going to be another straight-up rip-off of Black Ops. But I'll bring you another Black Ops 2 video soon. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Nate Dog. Signing out. Please comment, rate, and subscribe while well, I watch this awesome Riot Shield final kill. And boink. Alright, guys, comment, rate, subscribe. Please consider joining Clan Nips. I'll talk to you guys later.